So I've got the window open early. Last night, LMTC left the feed room door open. So my big rescue horse ate the chicken feed. Watch Andy if she's going to this. So far, she's upright and it doesn't seem bad, but it looks like she has a bellyache. I needed to stuff a fire. You have a beat. Well, I will say horses are static and they will eat. All I can do. So I ended up doing a Zoom call yesterday, which screwed up all my camera settings, so I don't have a puppy cam today. I'm gonna have to take some time to set up the stands between you and victory. Prepare yourself. Alright. I like playing. From mummy. A zombie like Roma. Hero power. Right, we have lots of people playing Max. She's got elementals. Curse and pools. I have to consider mech strategy that so many people are going to be mech centric. This case, I'm going to spin.
Yeah, the maker hunt. I hope the prison minion speaks effective. What we get? Definitely has a belly ache. At least you can try again. But at least chilling, not rolling or acting stupid. That's what the biggest issue that horses do colic. There's two things that can happen. They can roll and thrash about and they get a twisted twist the gut. Very dangerous. Um sometimes they just their body goes out of whack and they founder foundered before. Prone to limp. The journey of a thousand None of it is good. Going to switch. Oh. And obviously, I love playing. So many people. Are but there's another um, column. As long as she's calm. Or work it through. And she is. That's good. So we are buddy. This Olam Ben All right. Going against Maleficent. Wow. Let's see what next Maleficent. Last time, the pup bot out. Storm coil is really down there. Okay. Lady J. Ninety nine point one. Okay. Hey. 
Okay, those are some pretty bad trades, but still win. In. Let's see what else we get. Another deflectobot. Zero power. Go. Now we need more. We need a grease bot. Divine shield. Four divine shields. Twenty nine seconds. Oh, hey, nine. hey, good morning. How are you? Right, I've I've had an adventure, and it's only. No, oh, six twenty in the morning. So last night, and after I hurt my back, I I got LMTC to help me feed the horses, and you know we let them out and stuff about and all that. So this morning I go out and I I let old dog out and I look and the door to the feed shed is wide open. And Delilah the pig ate all the chicken food. So now I'm watching her to see if she's going to colic. Um, needless to say, I'm not happy. Because that's obviously very dangerous. Um, she's, a, she's the rescue horse. She's had laminitis. Uh, she's had all sorts of health issues. I've spent tons in vet bills. So I'm constantly looking over to see if she's still doing okay. She's definitely got a bellyache. But is she going to just let it work through, or am I going to have to call the vet? And then my hip, or my back, is not doing well. It's kind of moved um, uh, into like my hip. So I could barely get out of bed. I'm like walking around like, you know, I'm twice my age. No, it wasn't an actual piggy. It's I just call her Delilah the pig because she eats everything. I mean, all that horse cares about is when her next meal is. All right, let's do this. Off again. Oh no, I do not have pigs on this farm. <laughs> So fortunately, it looks like she's going to let herself just get through, but it is it is so risky because corn is high carbohydrates and a lot of energy, and her system is not good for that type of feed. Do not stop now, Commander. <laughs> no, she's actually she's a beautiful mare. Um, she's a Frisian cross, um, and Frisians are a very tall, um, they're black horses, and she has a super long mane and tail. Um, she looks like one of the horses that the Nazgul rode. And then you'll notice I lost my puppy cam. Tried to figure that out before stream. Not sure what re what what went wrong with the puppy cam but I did have to do a zoom call from my own computer and it picked up the puppy cam and not my regular camera so that might have had something to do with it I'll mess around with the settings later today and see if I can get it back on so yes lots of adventures for a Friday is always fun. <laughs> I know. I mean, what, what what are we gonna do? We don't have old dog. 
And he's not there anyways. He decided to go elsewhere because he's kind of on my, my, my hit list today, too. Supposed to tell me about things like that. Uh, I'll take the poisonous. Those are really going to help. So this is all my... <laughs> you know, that's very true. Yes. So last night, um, yes, that, that's probably what happened, is he just said, hey, you didn't give me the treats, you didn't do this, you don't let me in the bedroom anymore. You wouldn't let me eat the dead bird. So there's, I've got another story that I'll tell. So yesterday... <laughs> they are! Okay, so uh, that's probably how I ended up on his list. So yesterday, um, I, I learned that my chickens are, are very protective of their space. So a wild bird, a dove, flew into their coop and they attacked it and were eating it alive. It was disgusting. I had to go drag out this dove from these attack chickens. So I got it out of there and it was still alive and I really didn't know what to do with it. So I put it next to the tree and just figured maybe a hawk or something would come and take it. Or another, uh, uh, another predator of some sort, not my chickens. So old dog sees it, promptly goes over and grabs the bird. And I just, I was like, no, don't. Dude, don't get the bird. It's gross. Um, I mean, suppose, you know, he's doing what old dog likes to do. But anyways, so I told him to drop it, which he's a very good boy, and he dropped it instantly. But I think he took it out on me later that I didn't let him have the dead smelly thing. All right. Oh, so, yeah, I'm just, I'm having all these wonderful adventures lately. Better pay attention to my game, or I'm going to do stupid things. Alright, we can get taunt from that. So, yes, that's, that's my morning. I mean, so much has already happened, and it's only morning time on a Friday. But it is vacation eve. I'll, my day will be over soon. So starting tomorrow, that's it. I am out of the office. All right, a tie. All right, let's get this buffed up. All right, so we have a triple buddy. Let's make these two taunt. <laughs> Vacation Eve. <laughs> yes, it is a special holiday. They know that you're getting ready to check out and don't ask you to do anything. All right. Oh so yes, starting next, starting tomorrow. It can also be the night before mass layoff. Well, it could, but that's not the case here. Definitely not getting laid off. And I don't have to lay off anyone on my team either. Watch for incursions. 
Yeah, got it. Boy, they really want me to have one of those. All the workers, workers huddle, huddle around the coffee pot and pray to the corporate gods to be spared. <laughs> yes. But fortunately, not the case. In fact, I um, I hired two people this week. Um, I actually brought one of my contractors on full time. And I hired a new contractor for my offshore team. At least I hope the second one went through, because I am so tired of interviewing. I, I don't want to interview any more people. I'm done with it. Oh, got my poison. 59.3 wins. Hey. Go microbats. You interviewed two people once. Well, hopefully it wasn't as bad experience as I had. I I am so t out I'm so not into interviewing. In no one prepared me. The only thing they said was, ask them questions. And I'm like, um, how's the weather? <laughs> oh, that's that's perfect. So, I can say, you know, I've, I've mentioned past employers. And I was working at Intel. I was there for over 11 years. They had this whole process for interviewing. Behavioral interviewing. Where you had to ask questions that were completely, like, against what the job was for. Just to try to determine, you know, these psychological things about them. I don't know. It, it just made no sense. And I picked the first guy and got stuck with the second one. That is a bit out there. Oh. Yep. That's the other downside to interviews you get some really weird characters yeah it, it is it's exactly psychological warfare on the interviewer i mean they're already you know stressed uh, you know going through an interview process one of the things that we had to interview there was we had a lot of chinese nationals that had gone to school in the u.s and then came to interview but their english skills were horrid and you could ask them a question and the answers were incomprehensible i don't even think they understood the questions so we call this guy joker because you hear his laugh from three miles away so yes i've been through many 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 interviews I think the most fun set of interviews that I got, to, uh, that I volunteered for, were um, college interviews for uh, interns. Those were really fun because we I was paired up with one of our senior VPs for my organization, and I got to spend a ton of time with him and learn that we're both electrical engineers by degree. Had a lot of similarities. Fumble a bunch of shit and you just nod, acting like you understand what they said to be nice. Yeah, that's kind of what I was doing. Obviously, I did not recommend them for hire. But the thing was, you had to, uh, you had to sit there and listen to them. Going against her with elementals. I'm gonna leave this poison dude here. Oh, I wish I had my puppy cam. She's rolling all over the place. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna do this. This. Did her deck look...
All right, so she has that wind elemental at the very beginning. Them over there. All right, I think. All right, that should work. Still goes first, then the poison. So oh, I don't know why I had to have that. Uh, why they had to use Zoom for a meeting yesterday, and. We have WebEx is our meeting of choice, and I couldn't get Web or the Zoom call to work on my work laptop, which is where I would normally use it. So in order to participate in the meeting, I went ahead and loaded it up on my computer. It made all my settings for streaming get screwed up. I don't know why it didn't pick up on my main camera that I have set up for uh, for my uh, for looking at me. Okay. Yay! That played out well. We took her out. Yay! We're in first place. But everybody else happened. Okay, so we're top three. Going against Graybo against and his alright, he had lots of divine shields next. And I know he has tons of microbots. Alright, so better to hire a recruit than go shopping for more. I will read and just Didn't hero power. Oh, I just let it ride. We've got a little health to spare. Crazy how out of nowhere China is still locking down everyone and everywhere. Else is everyone's like, nah, you got this, get yourself some vid. You will be good. Yes. Oh I know. I don't understand what they're trying to accomplish by I mean doing that now and then have you seen pictures of the little kids going to school and they're in like full out hazmat gear I mean that's a little extreme in my opinion but it is kind of difficult to hear about that um, I have a lot of friends that I you know I've I've lost touch with some of them but I had friends that still live in Shanghai um, that's where I used to work. And in Shanghai, it's just a beautiful, beautiful city. Obviously very crowded. But to lock down that whole city is really sad. Yes, I did. Um, I When I was at Intel, I used to travel back and forth to um, China. And I was actually part of uh, the lead free initiative when we migrated away from um, lead in solders to a tin silver copper uh, formula. So yes, I used to go back and forth to Shanghai all the time. 
And a weird fact about Shanghai is I went to one of the manufacturers and the workers were so depressed that they put um, nets around the building, completely around, so that nobody could jump off the building and commit suicide. Talk about worker mentality. I, I was so sad when I saw that. Yeah, if I hadn't seen it, I wouldn't believe it myself. But they would regularly do that and to have to put nets up so that they couldn't kill themselves. Oh, we're first two, top two. I tried to snap some pictures, but they didn't allow a lot of pictures of how the conditions were there. I will say, as far as from a traveling perspective, I felt the safest in China. Even though it was communist, nobody would dare harm you. All right, he's got a lot of poison. Okay. That's an ouchie. Oh, poor Delilah, she's gonna have a bellyache today. This yeah, the CCTV cams will get them executed by the van. Yep, exactly. Um, one experience that was really cool was with the um, uh, Chinese gymnastics team. Uh, I went to visit Beijing, and I, um, all of the, the Chinese gymnasts were there visiting. We went to Tiananmen Square, and they all wanted to practice their English, for one, which was really cute. Um, and they were just super friendly, but if you were from the U.S., you were treated like royalty, especially the women. So it was it was kind of fun to travel around the country, and everyone treated you like a celebrity, because there were so few Americans or Westerners there. I mean, not even Europeans. Exactly. Well, it wasn't that long ago that I last went there, but it has been over a decade. Um, those, I would travel between 2002 and 2011 is when I traveled back and forth to China all the time. It was fun. I don't miss those long flights. And I have so many, you know, bad experiences on flights where... Flying, well, I got food poisoning on one trip. And flying back 15 hours on a plane with food poisoning? Not pleasant. Are we out yet? Yes, perfectly. Not too bad. Second place. I'll take it. Hey, plus 71. Alright, let me go get a refill on coffee before I queue up the next game. Use my be right back.
All right, so far so good. Lila is still standing. Looks like you might be okay. We'll see though. She's not going to be happy that she's not going to get her breakfast. Yeah, I think she will. It was fortunate that that was the only feed that was close to the door. And she wasn't so much of a pig that she walked into the feed room. And if she got the, the oats, like the equine senior, that would be worse. <laughs> she definitely would. But no thanks on the pigs. Um, they, you know, people think horses smell. Um, pigs are even worse. Uh, there was a pig farm uh, by the house that we first were living in when I moved back to Arizona from California. And from my childhood days, my grandfather had pigs and all those sorts of barnyard animals. And they were not friendly. We've got beasts, demons, dragons, mechs, or all of these are rated C's. Yes, I have, and it's funny because my father um, was uh, grew up in the Bronx in New York City, and his family always teased him that he came out to Michigan and we had this all this farm. We had horses and. Uh, uh, my mom, uh, my mom's grandfather, or my mom's dad, my grandpa, had a, this humongous farm. And morning, Hist. Welcome. I've got lots of stories this morning. Lots of exciting things going on. Have you devised a new strategy? All right. So we are going to need things that have death rattles. So I'm talking about uh, Delilah the pig. Um, not She's not an actual pig, she's a horse, but she is a pig when it comes to eating everything that's available to her. And since I hurt my back, I asked LMTC for some help feeding the horses last night because I couldn't throw things, throw the hay at all. And he left the door to the feed room open. So Delilah, aka the pig, goes in and ate the chicken Feed, which has a lot of corn in it, uh, really high energy, and it's very bad for her. So right now I'm watching to make sure she's not going to colic on me or show any other signs of, of foundering or having problems as a result of the food. All right. Take him. Could use these because they have the death rattle. I will save it. Oh, yes. Lots of excitement. And then I'm on old dog's list because I didn't let him eat the dead bird that my uh, chickens killed and tried to cannibalize. And then we had the nice little discussion about um, Vacation Eve. Since today is the uh, last day that I'm working for the next week. I was supposed to have gotten yesterday and today off. But yesterday, I had a big meeting with our senior VPs. Because we are moving our uh, data centers to a completely new location. I think I'm just going to sell him. So we're shutting down one of our office buildings um, since we're primarily virtual now and all of my test environments and my um, the engineering, so like our lower environments are all hosted in this building. And I mean, it's literally the whole floor of the building are just servers and networking, uh, just 
everything down there is in it's very impressive i took a, a walk down there once and just took a look at what we have um, and they're going to move all of it and it starts june 6th so i know that starting june 6th i am going to have just this influx of issues and they tried to make light of it because they really did they were like well this is okay and all that it's these technologies, not the cloud technology, so it's really not going to impact us. But then I showed the risk assessment that we had done, and we did by by um, uh, application, and then we the associated pods that it not just is hosted on, but where it interfaces with, and it impacts the entire environment. Every single move is going to create an outage. And when we when they saw that, they they were suddenly very, very quiet. And I was like, okay, now you see the risk of this. I mean, and it, it really wasn't my place to have to do that. But I'm the one that's going to have to manage all the incidents that are reported. So it's okay. Uh, I think I finally got all the key people on board, and I've got a strategy to move forward. And then I go on vacation. That's I love it. I'm bad at that kind of stuff because I'm like, well, this goes down, y'all basically... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, F um, I don't know what else to tell you. Good luck. I know. I mean, the other is, our, um, there are an average of like 20 to 25 project test teams. And then all the changes that are going to be um, done in that time frame. And they all go through these environments that I support. Oh no, there, huh, there's going to be tons of incidents. I mean, just how are we going to notify people? It's like, uh, no, you can't test. No, you're just all SOL. <laughs> well, normally, if you were doing this kind of move, that would be the time that you would actually upgrade the equipment and, you know, just do a, a transition. But because of all the supply chain issues, um, getting computer equipment and servers is really difficult right now. So that wasn't an option. Oh, I, I got you, Hist. I know. And your Jiro is accessible from home. Now you need to VPN in due to a security issue. <laughs> yeah, who needs to test? It's just the global company's worldwide test environment. All right, I better stop talking about work because I'm going to start getting into stuff that I shouldn't say on stream. But I can talk generally about things that happen, kind of like Dilbert. Yep, don't test. Just give it directly to the customer. They'll test it. I know! Just skip the test environment. Go right to production. <laughs> I don't work for Marvel Strike Force. Uh. Alright, what have we got here? I am sure people will do things right the first time. Well, I do have faith in the team that is doing this. They are doing their due diligence to make sure that we're going to have minimal impact. So from that perspective, I, I think we're doing the right thing. Get him. Okay, there's an issue that has the community triggered. Basically, there was a combination of cheaters and the rewards are not correct. Some people didn't get any rewards. Others got 
wrong rank, and so forth, in addition to the event being bugged. Oh, okay. So Marvel Strike Force, I remember that game. Um, LMTC used to play that. And he brought that up as well. I think that's why he left the game. So I remember what happened there. I, I wasn't... I, I tried it. I wasn't too impressed. No, I, I, he's been... He was away for a while. So, doubtful. Now he's he's playing um, Infinity Kingdom and StarCraft. That's what I see him log into all the time. And unfortunately, he refuses to play Hearthstone. Alright, so I want... A really weird build, obviously. Nice synergy. I'm having fun with it. There we go. That we are master beta testers. <laughs> guys okay uh welcome to the last world position that is so funny awesome okay so i'm going to rearrange a little since he does two he only does one All right, puppers, leave the bed alone. I'm trying to drag the bed, even though she's not on camera. Alright, 100% win. Yay! So you said you are on vacay. When do you return? Well, I'm not, um, I'm not going to take a vacation from streaming. Um, I'm actually going to stream longer next week. So I am off work from seven, Saturday through the following Sunday. So a full week, so eight days total. Um, and my plan is to definitely stream during all of this. Um, the only day that I will, I might stream um, less is going to be Friday, because that is my actual birthday. And we're going to see the Doctor Strange, uh, the Multiverse of Madness, I think it is. But I will be streaming a lot more next week, because I have the time off. And thank you! So oh, yes, one week from today is my birthday. And I was hoping to to collaborate with some other streamers, but I've been so busy at work that um, I've not had a chance to talk to them and set that up. So it's just going to be me. All right. I'm gonna want him. Oh yes! Oh, that was so fun. Uh, I did consider going down there and doing one of their overnight viewings, but it was really um, they didn't have it during the week, so I'm gonna put that on hold. Um, but I want to do one of the photography events and go down there with my camera and see if I can um, get some pictures like uh, the host had done. 
So that's a, a future thing that I'm hoping for. Lots of ta lots of taunts. So I do have the video from that um, viewing party. Actually, I put a lot of the videos from stream on YouTube, but that one has been pretty popular. Um, I sent the link to all my coworkers. They were pretty interested as well. I mean, it was just, it was a really fun thing to do. Need triples. Alright, so I'll go ahead and get rid of him so I can get the triple. Play him. Get. Early. So your, your realtor sent out this mailing about how home ownership is the only way I can fight off the effects of, of inflation will have on my wallet. Um... Well, I don't know that I agree with that. I know they're trying to get sales. Um, it did actually help me as far as taxes and all. It's a good marketing strategy. But I don't think it's, you know... It's not entirely true. Now I'm not a rocket science, but I don't see how adding an extra expense is going to make my wallet feel better. Yeah, his, I, I disagree too. That's, that is not really going to help. Now, it could be that, you know, they're trying to go the angle that if you're renting and rent, um, and the homeowner or the mortgage or the, um, the renter is passing along inflation and raising your rent. I mean, that could be an argument. I mean, I suppose you could, you could create an argument for what they're saying. I agree. Is most people really don't understand what's going on with the economy or inflation. So if anything, I have actually been cutting down on my expenses and yet after I pay my bills, I only have a bit left over. Whereas before I was spending like a madman and had the time of my life. <laughs> yeah. I know that the biggest impact that I'm seeing right now are on gas prices, and I cannot get hay for the horses. Like, I went to get hay yesterday, and they are limiting the amount of hay you can buy because of supply issues to only 10 bales at a time. Which means that I have to find alternatives for feeding my horses. That is not good. Okay, so. Tell him. I him. Three. Welcome to the lost folk for 
So yes, um, and hey, used to be um, fifteen dollars a bale. And now when I go directly to the farm, it's eighteen fifty a bale. And if I buy it from the feed stores, it's now twenty two and twenty three dollars a bale. Just one bale of hay. That is obscene. I I had hoped to actually purchase another horse because I've been enjoying the ranch riding and all of that and I wanted to have a horse on my property that was rideable because um, both all the mares are retired and I've put that on hold because I just you know it's too expensive um, and I have one horse in full training so between all of that I, I don't need the extra expense right now of another horse But it is by far the, the worst cost um, to have horses right now. So you went from 30 bucks a week on gas to 100. Yeah, exactly. I, I filled up the gas tank and it, it used to be like I could fill it on, you know, 35, 40. Because I, I like to use the fries um, discounts. And now it was over 50 with the discounts. And if I try to fill up my diesel truck, it's going to be over 100 again. Like, no, thank you. Oh, I remember. I mean, everyone was like, oh yes, go diesel, so you'll save money. Even LMTC used to have a diesel. And no, it, it, most like, it most definitely will not. In fact, right now, it's really a seller's market for homes. The prices are just up beyond belief. My, even my home value, uh, when I refinanced it recently, it was up, what did we calculate? Let's see, I'll get the actual percentage of how much value it had gained. So it went up 168% in value. Just incredible. Almost doubled in value from when I purchased the house. So we were told that the investor that dropped our stock price basically did not want to hear that we can't increase the price of a product as easily as other industries. Okay. That, that sounds a little suspicious. At least that value can be used by local government for real estate taxes. Well, you know the nice thing is real estate taxes aren't calculated on the sale value of the house. It's a different system, thankfully. So I don't have to pay tax on the sales value just the appraisal value, which is back by uh, much, it's actually lower than the initial price that I purchased the house. So, as, as long as they don't change those rules, I'm okay. And those are governed by the state, so we're at least good. Alright, so we're top four. What have we got here?
Oh gosh. So it's our main loss was from overpaying for everything that was in short supply. Yeah. Let me check on the the horse pig. Alright, yeah, it's been an hour. It's been over an hour since I found out what had happened. So I think she's going to be okay. <laughs> she does. Oh, I don't have power in this barn though, so it'd be tough to keep it powered up. I have to run extension cords everywhere. <laughs> you know, that'd be fun, um, but at least I can look out the window and see the barn and see the horses. Uh, my old barn, I did actually have webcams. Um, I was doing a lot of breeding at that time, and I would watch for when the mares would full out, and I had a webcam right next to my bed so that I could keep track on the of the horses and when the mares had their babies. That so was pretty fun. All right. But what I was trying to get at is I would prefer when I go into the barn that I don't have any connection with anything because that's where you go to get away from things and relax. Alright, we'll take that. Love Felbats. Really just want him tripled because he's kind of losing value now. Okay, time for them to go. You have a massive price to be reckoned with. Oh, oh, so he gave me the good death rattle. Like for you. All right. So, on the other news, um, I ordered um, two new things that I didn't have for the house. Um, I didn't have a barbecue grill. I did all this nice extended patio and we've got tons of outdoor space and no barbecue grill. Well, I had this little like camping grill and that's what I was using for barbecuing. So I bought the big master barbecue grill, super excited about that. Next week, going to do lots of barbecuing. And I got a smoker. So the barbecue grill is supposed to be delivered. Now, here's the thing. I put the order together and I ordered it from Lowe's because I I do a lot of work with Lowe's and get a lot of discounts there. Um, but I ordered it and then it said two items for pickup, and then it said two items for delivery, which made absolutely no sense. So I had no idea if they were going to be delivered or I had to go pick them up. So I just kind of waited, and then I got a text because I do the text updates, and they said, Oh, your order is ready for pickup. And then I got a second text is, Oh, we're delivering, your order should be delivered today. So, which way is it? I'm very confused. Either way, um, I'm, I think I have to go pick up the smoker and the barbecue grill is being delivered. At least I am getting both of them. And at least the big grill is the one that's being delivered because I was worried it wouldn't fit in my small truck. And the starter is out on the big truck, so that wasn't an option. I've got to get that towed to the dealership. Tons of things to do next week. Alright. 
I can't believe that I've actually gone this long and work has not bothered me. They know I've already checked out for vacation. You know, I think take a quick break. I will be right back and I'm going to play one more game. So I'll do right back. All right, let's screw up again. Having good games and really not paying too much attention to it. I'm kind of running on autopilot right now. Okay, play. Not crazy about any of these. Let's I guess I will take him. I don't like his head hair par. What minions give them that speed? Have him relax. No, let's play him. See if we can do Relax. Alright, I'm gonna play Murlox. Battle Cry and Murlox. The strategy. What is that you. <laughs> Seven enemies stand between you and victory. All right, and they didn't give us any relax. All right, we'll take him because he sells something. <laughs> oh man. Okay. 
Not exactly the best start. Come on, Murlocs. Did you expect comfort? Ugh. On your feet. Hey. I guess Beast also could have some battle cries. One hundred percent tie. All right. Well, that's who got my Murlocs. Okay. Behold this King Battleground. All right. So we'll play him for the battle cry. So we get the main passive. Kill him. Buy him. Get next. But I'm going to save the blood gem until I get a more definitive strategy here. You must traverse your fortune. So has anyone ever cooked with a smoker. I, I got one because it seemed interesting. I know a lot of my friends have used them, but it's something I've never tried. I'm gonna have to read up on it. The, um, uh, what, what, how, or just how you go about cooking with one. <laughs> Yeah, I suppose that could have been interpreted a little weird. <laughs> Alright, I'm playing him for the battle cry. I'm gonna freeze here. So no, your brother-in-law does a lot. Yeah, I suppose there's going to be some um, instructions, some instructional videos out there, different techniques. Um, I bought a really nice one, so it, it should be, you know, it should be fun to try. I'm going to set it up right next to my chicken coop, to mainly to, you know, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to smoke chicken. To maybe ward off the aggressive behavior of my velocity my little mini velociraptors. Okay, that was ouchy. I'll I'll have to I'll let everybody know how it goes once I get the smoker and can try it. I think I have to get um, like charcoal or like the wood chips so that you get the flavored smoke from it or something. I'll read up on it. I'll read up on it before I go pick it up because if there's other things I need to purchase, I want to make sure that I have it. Find something of interest. 
You also have to properly tenderize the meats. Okay. I do typically marinate. Um, it's a very acidic marinades that I use, so I think that that will will help. Unless you're talking like, you know, actual like pounding on the meat. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how much you have to uh, prep before you um, use the smokers. All right. Deserata, summon a random battle cry minion and add a copy of it to your hand. Okay. Um. Another really weird build going on here. Let's see. And don't over smoke. Yes, definitely. I'm sure it will turn out perfect. You know, we'll probably go through a few trial runs and experiment with it to see how what works best. But I like that process. I mean, it's all about cooking, so I'm a big foodie. Yeah, I've got. Oh, I can show off my most recent. I've been re. I've been um, watching some cooking shows, and I think I mentioned this before that I like the Selena and Chef. And this was one of the uh, cookbooks that one of the chefs that was featured on that show wrote. And it's not a typical cookbook. Um, I'm getting a whole wide variety of books and they're very... Uh, it's not like a bunch of recipes. It's about technique and different ways to manage food. And it's very interesting. I'm really having a good time with it. Alright, so I just need battle cries. None of those have battle cry. Grilled, grilled myself, not sure if I have the patience for smoking. I know, that's why I got the grill. I definitely wanted the grill. But this will be a fun experience. Now, if it just ends up out there gathering dust, then I'll, you know, put it away in the garage. Alright, we got enough. Alright. Do not draw the daylight's eye. Now we have to level to take advantage of Grilling hot dogs, brats, and burgers. Oh yes. That is a very big favorite of mine. Um I also make a really good um grilled tenderloin. That's one of my favorites. I am definitely not a vegetarian. <laughs> I love to grill steaks and all sorts of meats. Although grilled vegetables also are very tasty. But I am excited to start grilling again. Alright, so we'll get his triple. Level this. A 
Democrat. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Early morning uh, conversation, or uh, very early conversations. Alright. Starting to take advantage of that. Yeah. I when I had the grill before, I grilled all the time. You can I even grilled breakfast. Um I did brunch for my family once. That was a lot of fun. And it inc included grilled steaks. Grilled breakfast sausage, also very good. Okay, now I can't stop. <laughs> Go Leaper for the win! <laughs> Alright, so we're a little bit behind. Oh, we're going against the dead dude, so that's good at least. Um, what do we got to do? So, sell him. Buffing going there. I'll take him for an eventual triple. No, no, no. Food talk. <laughs> Agreed. Let's see. I don't normally play battle cries, so I'm having a tough time remembering which ones are. Since I have a murloc, I'm just going to use it. I suppose I could use yeah. Um, since I'm going against a dead dude and he only has two minions. I'm just gonna let it sit and then do the battle cries again. So part of my vacay week is going to be playing around with the grill and the smoker. I'll report on how it goes. Yay! Triples! Okay. So... What is his type? The regular old minion. Tell him. Alright, so I'm going to level. Play the buddy. See what we get. Since he has a battle cry. Wish all buddies were of some type. That would really I think that would be a good part for the When they're just a minion, that's very annoying. Bronze epic bronze epic egg. All right, but we're in. Oh, we are in fourth place. We're going against Murlocs. 
Butterwalk. So he's definitely going to have a lot of buffs. Probably his Buck Slinger. <laughs> I lost a puppy. Alright, she's still up, so it's like she's going to be okay. And if there was going to be problems, it probably would have happened by now. The other mares are going to be angry with her. Because I'm delaying breakfast because I wanted to watch her. And she's not going to get her full breakfast. In fact, I'm going to give her barely half of Lake of Hay. Alright. I'm just going to do this. Play two blood gems. Friendly minion. It steals all blood more. So let's get some blood gems. That was interesting. Oh, we can play that one. That one again. There we go. Separate the chaff. That's an interesting battle cry. And we can again. So I'm gonna freeze and this. All right. Oh, we're against Ragnaros again. That mixed, and he has that plus three, plus three. Ouchie. Let's see, are we going to survive this turn? It's saying no. Well, that's ouchie. Go, Leaper! Ouchie. Oh, bummer. Oh, that's disappointing. I was actually having fun playing bronze the first time. But I didn't go aggressive enough with the battle cries. Oh well. Well, I'm going to have to end stream and go get rid of this last day of work before I go into the vacation week. So, um, tomorrow is tentative for the show. Um, back still not doing great. So I may be streaming tomorrow. Um, if I don't show, I will definitely stream. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to, uh, show though. I mean, I invested a ton of money in, in the entry fees, so I really tr think I'm going to go try. But, who knows? Either way, thanks guys for joining. Always fun. Um, have a good day.